This is a chart of the S&P 500 current to Friday, July 27th. I'm going to use the Hearst method to do a quick uh, projection of where we could anticipate this current rally uh, to terminate. I'll use the cycle finder and I get a low cycle period of 32. Uh, my style of trading prefers using the longer numbers so I multiply that by 3 to get a 96 period average. I'll use the price and time projector uh, by simply using the prior two or two most recent intersections uh, the intervening low in this case and we get a price and time projection and we can see that we're uh, toward the say lower to middle end of the price and at the distant end of the time uh, which would indicate that based on current cyclical analysis uh, that the rally has uh, pretty much run its steam. We'll use the E function and project from a low to an intersection and we get a price projection of about 1394, 67, 1395 or so. And price is already nearly there. The longer period blue moving average, which is 96 periods, is heading horizontal to maybe slightly down. And if indeed this rally has terminated at this point or is close to it, then prices will have to fall hard to bend the longer period moving average down to where the uh, green and red uh, shorter period moving averages have already intersected. Uh, it doesn't always match exactly, but it's fairly close as you can see here and, and here if we project up. So just based on this quick Hearst analysis, I'd anticipate that the rally has pretty much reached its termination point, both in price and time. Uh, but for that to happen, we would have to see prices start falling hard uh, early next week without making any substantial up moves uh, sufficient to uh, bend the moving averages. Now uh, we can see that the shortest period average would be a third of the 96, or a 32 period average is still heading up. So as far as the chart is concerned, we do not have any objective evidence that the rally has ended. We are, however, uh, anticipating a termination at this point and will be prepared to take action if indeed we see a reversal bar or a substantial price fall off from this point.